Hi design figures, my name is Matthew Sear and today we're jumping into Figma. We're going to be using Figma's new prototyping feature, mode switching. We're going to be able to change our view by changing the visibility settings of our business owner view and our staff member view. We're going to be using Figma's variables and modes to adjust and adapt our prototype all inside of one single screen. So if you'd like to learn more about Figma's new prototyping feature, then you're in the right place. You'll be able to download the project in the description box below. So if you've downloaded the project and you're ready to go, sit back, relax, and let's jump into the video. What we have over here is we have our prototype, we have our business owner, Sam, and we'll be able to change our view from Sam to Alex. You can see that some of the elements show and hide inside of our viewport. And if we go back to Sam, we'll be able to, to up here, open up the ability of staff access. And we're going to be able to provide the reward program access over here to Alex. Alex can't see it at the moment, but if we go back to Sam, we can click up the top here. We can add a reward program. And now we can switch back to Alex and there we go. So we'll be able to set this all up inside of our prototype and this can go inside of our prototype in a single screen right here. You'll be able to find a couple of these elements. They're all set up for you, ready to go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building out our collections and then we'll be jumping in to building the functionality for our prototype. Let's get into it. Inside of our prototype, we're going to be using two collections of variables. We're going to be using our prototype manager. This prototype manager will allow us to update and change the prototype values. We have everything from here where we have our prototype state, our prototype or our users. This manages those default values, maintaining our users across our prototype. And then down here, we also have that visibility option. So where we were able to switch the ability for our staff member to be viewing or not viewing our reward section, this is where we control it. For our default values, we want to jump into our actual visibility permission. This is how we can switch our modes between our owner and our staff member to maintain those two different visibility options. We'll be able to use other types of variable collections to do different state changes. This state change here allows for the visibility, but we can also add in various others. And this is where you would add in any uh, change between owner and staff member when switching within side of your prototype. And as I was saying before, we have this default value where I have my actual rewards program for staff. You can see it's false and I align that inside of the visibility for the rewards program. And that's how we can make sure if we need to change this value, we can change it here and it will update in the visibility settings. So as we move into the next part, we're going to be able to set these up and start to put together our prototype. So here is our assets and these are what we're going to be able to use to create our prototype. You'll be able to find these, as I said, in the link in the description box below. We have the project there, so check it out. You'll be able to find inside of that already the set up local collections to make it a little bit easier. So let's get started actually applying all of these to our designs. First, get on to getting our pop-ups to actually start to pop up. 
what I'm going to do is I can click on my login. I can go up to my prototype and I can apply interaction. So I can go to overlay. I can find that actual login. And as I click it, I'm going to set it to manual. And I'm also going to have it close outside. And when it's a manual, I can drag this picture. I can just stick it up over there and that's where it's going to pop up. It'll pop up right there. There we go. And what I'll do is for this overlay, I'm just going to grab that text that I have here and I'll add access here. So I'm going to click at the top on this button and I will add in an on click event. And I'm also going to add in that overlay. I can find the star pop up. I can drag it into the screen. There we go. And line that up. Great. I'm going to press play. I can click this. There we are. It's there. And I can find this, that one. And there we go. Let's keep moving on. What we need is to start actually applying the actual variables that we've set up to define the visibility on our screen here. So if you look back into your local collections, we have our visibility options. And over here, we have our stuff and we have our owner. So we're going to grab the stuff. And what we want to be doing is actually going through and starting to apply our star visibility to the assets inside of our view. So here, if I click on these layers, I can click on those and I can go over to my layers and I can right click and I can find the staff. So I got the visibilities and I have transactions and I have my staff. So now I have the staff applied to those. Let's make sure we have those correctly selected. And now I can go to my visibility and I can go to the transactions and I can go to the owner like there. So now we have both those set up. And just for a little bit of extra, what we can do is we can also, let's say we will pick the member and we'll pick that one. And we'll make this for the owner. So obviously right click, go down to owner. We can go to the owner there. So transaction and owner. We still have not switched our modes, but we will be doing that in a minute. So we're going to actually go grab this here. So when we will click between these two, what we need to do is change over the actual state to enable the mode switching within our design. So let's get started with setting our variable modes. We're going to click on Sam and we're going to be adding a on click event. And then we're going to go down to the new variable mode switching. We're going to be able to click and select our variable collection and then we're going to be able to get and set the actual variable collection to the owner we're going to be able to select our alex down here and then we can do a on click event and then we can do the same so we can go set variable modes we can select our actual local collection being our visibility permissions we're going to set it to the staff member and we'll be able to then for example press play and we'll be able to switch between these two modes and you can see that we show and hide the different things in our viewport but we can see that sam didn't change down the bottom here so what we're going to do is we have our component and i have both sam and alex actually set up and they are set up as different users in here being Alex and Sam. We can actually do a component variant switch. And that's where inside of our local collections comes in handy. 
we have our default users that are down here and we'll need to make sure that they have the exact same name as the users down below. We can actually now connect them up to our component switching. So I'm gonna actually click here and what I have is a actual variable called current user. I'm gonna apply current user to Sam. And then what we need to do is actually switch the current user variable. So if I click on Sam, I need to go back to prototyping. We'll need to go on to on click and then we'll able to add in a set variable and we can set the variable to Sam. We can set current user first and we're going to set current user to Sam. And then we're going to do the same for Alex. So I'm going to go up to here. We are going to add and we're going to go set variable. We're going to set the current user and we're going to set the current user to Alex like so. So now we're able to set the user. We can preview that again. And if I press Alex, now it changes to Alex. If I press Sam, now it changes to Sam. We can also see the visibility change and we have the prototype working quite nicely. And that's how we can set up our actual variable mode switching and how we can use variables to change out our component variants. So let's set up the next part where we're able to set up this staff access. Let's set up our access panel so that Sam can provide access to Alex to view the rewards panel. He thinks a note inside of our variable collection. So we have our reward actual access visibility for our staff member here. And if we go into our visibility here, we also have our actual visibility for our rewards panel. So first let's set up the access and then we're going to also apply the actual visibility to our panel. So let's select our panel here and let's apply that visibility. And I'm going to go into my visibility for my rewards program and add that to that. And then I'm going to go to my staff access pop-up and we're going to click onto my little noodle here and we are going to change who can see it. We are going to go to a condition and we're going to drag down the pop-up opening into the condition statement. We're going to go and actually check who is the current user if it's equal to Sam. And that's why we have our default value. So we can quickly and easily apply these in our statement. So if the current user is Sam, then we can show the pop-up here and we are able to then toggle the actual user reward program visibility. We're going to actually set the ability to toggle that visibility on our actual component instance here. I'm going to set it on this component right here. I'm going to do a on click event. And at first I need to do a condition statement. What I need to do is understand if the rewards program is currently on or off. So is the staff member reward program equal to false? If the rewards program is currently equal to false, which means for the staff member, we want to set the rewards program visibility here to true. But if it is true, we are going to set the actual reward program visibility and we're going to set that to false. 
So this will set our local variable with our rewards program. If we go back over to our local variables, we will see that we have our staff rewards program aligned in our staff column. And that means that if I was to click onto the display, we can go into our prototype. If I'm on Sam, I can see the pop up. If I'm on Alex, I cannot open the pop up. I'll go back to Sam, back in Alex, we can't see the rewards. And we can click on our prototype. I can click on my rewards program and I'll be able to actually jump right back to Alex. There is my rewards program. You notice that the switch here are also changed when I clicked on it. Now I don't have any prototypes set up for this, but a additional little functionality that is set here is we have our variable and our variable or the rewards program is aligned to our switch. If we click on the button, it will both change this to on and off based on our variable collection. That's how we can use mode switching inside of our prototypes and use our variable collections. So I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below and also tell us what would you do with the new mode switching inside of Figma and how does this change your workflow? I'd love to know. Please like, subscribe, and until next time, design thinkers, keep thinking, keep creating, and keep building amazing things, and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, bye.